بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پروفیسر ڈاکٹر رضوان جمیل قریشی آئی ایم اسٹارٹنگ لیکچر نمبر 12 آف سسٹم انالیس اینڈ ڈیزائن کورس ان دا پریویس لیکچر آئی کور دا پراز اینڈ کانز آف ریکوائرمنٹ گیدرنگ ٹیکنیکس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو کور ٹوڈے ماڈرن ریکوائرمنٹ گیدرنگ ٹیکنیکس سو ٹریڈیشنل از آلریڈی کورڈ ان دا پریویس ٹو پریویس لیکچر ان ٹرو group interview, questioner, observation, study system documents. So these are five traditional techniques that we use during the analysis phase. And in the modern techniques, we have prototype, JAD and GSS. So I'm starting prototype first. Prototype technique has three parts, but prerequisite is that you must have covered one of the traditional techniques, intro, survey, group intro, study system documents. And on the base of traditional technique or techniques, you design a prototype. Prototype means demo version of actual system. So using Visual Basic, Power Builder, Delphi, any RAD tool, RAD stands for R for RAD, A for Apple, D for Donkey or Dog. So Dog or Donkey are fighting for the Apple with the RAD. Am I correct? No. RAD tool means Rapid Application Development Tools. So Visual Basic, Power Builder, Delphi, these are RAD tools, Rapid Application Development tools to design prototype demo version. So there are three steps in the prototype. You show the prototype to the customer and most of the time it will be the end users because the top management doesn't have so much time to attend frequent prototypes. Listen to the customer develop a demo based on listening you design the demo evaluate by the customer once customer is evaluating you are again listening and then rebuild redevelop the demo again evaluated by the customer so this is a cycle and there are two types of prototyping we have throw away prototyping and evolutionary prototyping In the throwaway, you throw that, you discarded the first prototype after evaluation of the customer and design the new prototype from the scratch line one. Whereas in the evolutionary, you keep on evolving the first prototype that you showed to the customer and you keep on improving till customer approved or approves it. So quickly converts requirements to working version is the benefit of prototyping or use of prototyping. Then it is mostly applied when requirements are not clear, ambiguous requirement, unclear requirement, confusing requirement. Few users can be involved to attend the prototypes and is the best way to integrate with other methodologies like is one of the advantages of prototyping technique. Then the problem of prototyping is the end user may misguide you because of the job threat and that will lead to failure of the system. Then there is no documentation involved. If end users in front of the top management deny that I did not approve this design, then you don't have any documentation, any proof that this interface is approved by the customer. And only lower management is involved, top management is not involved. So because of the problems of prototype, IBM introduced 
a technique called JAD. J for Jin, A for Apple, D for Donkey. Hamar. So Jin and now Donkey are fighting for the Apple. Am I correct? No. Joint application design. It was introduced by IBM in 1979, if I'm not mistaken. But most of the books, it's written in 1970s, started by IBM. JAD session has some requirements. It's called session. First requirement, you must have used one of the requirement gathering techniques like interview, question, observation. Then, second requirement, JAD session should not be conducted more than once in the life of system development. So you cannot conduct JAD session again and again. It should not prolong more than one to two hours. Why? Because fourth requirement, the key people from customer side and software company side must be present during the JAD session to make it successful. The fifth requirement, why we not cannot conduct again and again? Because it should be conducted at a neutral location, neither customer side nor software company side. So there are five techniques, five requirements on the base of that you go for JAD. Then what are the main participants other than the top management, middle management, lower management? So we have a session leader that could be project manager, system analyst, users, customer side, top management, middle management, lower management, board of investors, board of directors, stakeholders, system analyst, scribe, a guy who will take minutes of meeting or record minutes of meeting. And IT staff, most of the time they are listening. Now the session leader that can be project manager or system analyst will show prototype to the customer and ask them to comment on that. Then first interface, second interface, third interface. There are few problems as I covered in the last lecture. Your key people, your top bosses are sitting in front of you. As end users, you cannot counter your boss, you cannot contradict him, you cannot argue him because of the ego issues. There is a possibility that if you argue with your boss during the JAD session, after returning back to the office, he will call you and Khrujan Haya, he will kick you from the company. So system will be developed, but you will be no more in the company. So there is a chance of victimization. Secondly, few people are more talkative. They do gir 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 gir, lot of gir gir. They know or they don't know malum or bafi malum. So they will lead the session. Few people are shy. They will not speak until you ask them to speak. So it's not effective technique to collect the requirements. Then GSS was introduced to improve the JAD. G for gun, S for Superman, another S for Spider-Man. So Superman and Spider-Man are fighting for the gun. No, it's group support system. In the group support system, Five requirements of JAD are the same, but one more requirement is added. Everybody has a terminal in front of him. And there is a partition like internet cafe. So your next guy, 
sitting beside you he cannot see you what you are commenting so the comments are anonymous hidden and they are coming on the projector screen so everybody can participate there is no chance that talkative people will leave the session shy people will also comment now they don't need to speak they can type they can comment so in less time you collect more comprehensive requirement better requirements as compared to jd or the prototyping technique thank you very much jazakallah khair may love bless you assalam alaikum